So it's been 13 years and now five films since the launch of the franchise. When you first signed on to this, what was sort of, I guess, the plan moving forth? Did you envision uh, from the start that this many years later, this many films, that uh, you would still be going strong with the Underworld series? No, not at all. I mean, the whole point of my doing the first Underworld was really because it was such a stretch and it was really not my sensibility or comfort zone. And so I, I suppose I wanted to kind of do an experiment to see if I could get away with doing it. And also, it's not based on a pre-existing comic book or a series of novels or anything. So. It was never anything more than a standalone movie, and then people liked it. So. so, with each new one that gets sort of presented to you, are you um, are you skeptical at all when when there's a new <coughs> one? Like, okay, well, how much how much story do we have left to tell, or are you sort of gung ho like let's see how let's see how much further we can sort of take these stories? I mean, I think the thing is, if you know, if I didn't feel like there was a, a good story to tell, I wouldn't do the second. Is that me or you? Um, I wouldn't feel like there was a, if I didn't feel like there was a good story, I wouldn't do one. And that's why there's, you know, there's, we don't put out an Underworld every one year or two years. You know, I think if it gets to the point where we get presented with a storyline that we think is interesting, then we'll make one. You are sort of, I guess, the the gatekeeper then of of Celine, uh, because you've been with it in the beginning. Uh, you're kind of like, I guess, Vin Diesel to the the Fast okay. and Furious movies. Do you are you protective of that? That character, when when the, the films are sort of being developed and you're sort of seeing um, what what's next in line for the character, do you ever have to sort of wield uh, that? Well, she wouldn't do this, or no, that would be more in line with with where I see her going. Yeah, I think so. I, but I think the thing is, is that there is a certain. Obviously, we have been doing them a long time, and there's a few of us that have been on since the beginning, and and so they are fairly deferential in terms of that because I am the person who will remember, no, wait, hang on a minute, you know, I've been, I've been very closely involved with the character for a long time, so it's not so much wielding. <laughs> it's well, more collaborative. Well, when you have sort of each new film, um, you know, it, they usually are a few years in between, yeah. um, new directors usually with each one, yeah. uh, weapons training, you're going right. back in. Is it, is it sort of like riding a bike uh, <laughs> when, when you have to do this, or is each new film sort of its own experience where you're sort of back to, to square one to, to get in uh, game shape, I guess. So it's kind of a bit of both. I mean, it's never going to be as terrifying as the first one because I'd really only done ballet before. So it really was a kind of, oh my God, I've never really thrown a punch. I don't I run like a girl. You know, all that stuff had to be, you know, really bullied out of me. And obviously that's not the same. I think, um, I think because there is so much time in, be in between and because it isn't actually you know, my sensibility, I always get as nervous, you know, each time going, oh my God, what are they thinking? Why are they having me do this? And then, like you say, the riding a bike thing does does sort of bear out. Um, and, you know, we're lucky we've got, I've got the same stunt coordinator that, that was on the first movie who is extremely patient with me going, I can't possibly do that. You know, they show me the previous, and I go, I can't, I can't, I can't. And then they end up kind of just gently training you, and then you can. So. I know Les talked about <coughs> it being a sixth film already sort of in oh, development. Really? <laughs> um, there is also, I believe, a Underworld TV series that yeah. they are sort of putting together. Uh, <coughs> how, how much farther do you believe that Underworld can go? How much, or, or at least, how much more to the Celine character, how much more story is there of hers before you even yourself sort of say, well, maybe we've, maybe we've exhausted it now, it's maybe time to take things in another direction? I don't know, I mean, I've never ever planned on doing another one ever. So, you know, I don't, I don't tend to think like that. I'm not sitting there going, ooh, you know, let's do another Underworld. You know, I think um, each time I've been asked, will there be another one, I've sort of generally said no, because I, don't, I tend to not think there will be. But as I say, because we're not tied to some pre-existing thing, it, the, the, really the field is wide open in terms of, you know, what we do with her or what we do with, the, with it. Not, I mean, I'm not certainly not attached to any TV series or anything like that, but, um, you know, I, I'm in a weird position. I've never played a character more than once ever in my life. So, um, you know, it's kind of new territory for me too.